Whew. All right, Capricorn. <laughs> I'm G1 Writer with G1 Insights. This is like my third time doing this video, so it better come out right or or else. That's it. <laughs> Welcome to my page, guys. So, I love you all for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus and Capricorn. Okay? Capricorn, your energy is very, like, carefree, free-spirited. Um, I feel like the universe want you to kind of loosen up this season. So, let's get into it. Because the very first card that actually came out for you is about your first chakra, which is your root chakra. So, let me show you what that looked like. Okay? Yep. So your first chakra is connected to your lower spine, like your kidneys. Um, pay attention to any pain in that area. Tr please, please, please drink lots of water. Try your best to stick with anything organic, including topical things, okay? Like lotions, creams, ointments, um... Anything natural that you can really get your hands on. Things for your hair, um, things for your skin, things that you drink or eat. Try your best to live a very organic lifestyle for the next two months, okay? Because, and not just for the next two months, really it should be like an everyday thing. But I know that earth signs love good food, so I'm not going to... Um, had that topic right now. But I will say, Capricorn, there's a lot of energy floating around you that is very similar to Aries. So if you have Aries or Leo or um, Sagittarius in your birth chart anywhere, or even maybe as a Venus in one of those signs, I want you to check their partial video and possibly even their individual video just because it was a little similar to what you have here, okay? Both of you, fire signs and earth signs alike have a lot of the same energy about new birth, new growth, um, new beginnings, new projects. And for you, Capricorn, it doesn't surprise me just because you are the most grounded of all earth signs and you crave for stability. And when that stability feel like it is taken away from you or it is shaken or um, it is gone or some you feel like maybe someone took it from you, it hurts and you don't like it. Um, okay, but I feel like Capricorn, there's a blessing in disguise with this particular scenario. So whether this is work related or health related, wealth related, okay, or for some of you, this could even very well be pregnancy. If it is not pregnancy, then this is definitely a new birth of maybe yourself, a new you, a new approach to circumstances, a new spouse. Maybe you are now dating someone new or may have thoughts of dating someone new. Um, this could even be maybe a new home, relocation, okay, um... Simply maybe even having conversations with your children or possibly just simply loosen up, okay? So the reason why I'm saying all that is because I do got Demera. I got Goddess Demera, and this is all about children in particular. And this could represent fertility, but it can also represent your own childhood, like your own. Um, so if you have had any visions or if you are having any visions about your past or about your childhood, or if you are having dreams about giving birth to a child, this could be birth birthing of a new you, a new project, a new job, a new promotion, okay? New money, something that you were waiting for is really exciting. It's going to help you with that new transition that is coming your way. So Capricorn, whatever it is that you were afraid of when it came to your stability, I feel like there is definitely something new on the horizon, okay? So it's, it, it's as scary as it may feel the first week or two of April, going to about the 20th, or I want to say between the, I just heard the 18th. So between the 18th and the 20th, Capricorn, that week alone will be very fundamental for you spiritually, emotionally. I feel like some some of you are going to receive some unexpected news. Now for Aries, it was more of like a shock, a surprise. For you, Capricorn, I feel like this is something you kind of knew that was coming your way anyway. So it's not going to come to you like a shock. It's more of something that you already knew about. You knew was coming you just didn't know exactly when or you may have 
felt or had some type of um, deep feeling or some type of intuition or a dream or vision about this particular situation. So again, it could be pregnancy, it could be a new relationship, a new engagement, a new home, a new car, something new, but it's going to raise your vibration completely. So this feeling of self-doubt and feeling like you don't belong or feeling like no one appreciates you or that feeling of uh, emptiness that you are feeling, that, that feeling like there's some type of void there it would not be like that by the third week of april so i need you to know that this is a time where any type of stress that you are having okay the universe is saying that you want to start delegating okay start to ask for help okay because again your body is going to go through some changes and this is for some of you that are pregnant or will find out that you are pregnant about at least three or four weeks into your pregnancy you will start to notice issues at your lower back or you will start to notice issues in your lower pelvic area okay so pay attention to those things okay um make sure that you're not lifting anything too heavy make sure that if you can't do it that you ask for help try to keep your stress at a minimum okay and remember capricorn without exception what you get thought to wanted or unwanted you begin to invite into your experience. So the universe basically wants you to see yourself as a magnet attracting unto you the essence of whatever you are thinking and the essence of whatever it is that you are feeling, okay? So for example, if you feel poor, guess what? You cannot attract prosperity. And I feel like you know this though, Capricorn, because you are, again, the most grounded of all earth signs. So you are the master of manifestation. And I tell you this all the time. It's no big surprise, Capricorn. We have this conversation all the time. I am constantly uh, reminding you that you are the master of manifestation. And truthfully, you can teach a lot of us how you do it. A lot of people are watching you and they are admiring the fact that what they struggle with comes so easily to you. Like, you you get it. So, meanwhile, while everybody else is so emotional and going crazy, you're normally the one that's really well composed and well put together. And, be, and it's only just because Saturn is your ruling planet. And Saturn is the teacher, the, the authoritative figure, the serious one, you know. And Saturn is also, like, the boss, you know, puts us in our place. And for you, Capricorn, I just feel like a lot of you are going to be doing that this season. You are going to be dominating every single area of your world. So even in love, you are like, nope, I'm doing this my way or the highway, okay? I'm going to get the car. I'm going to do this. I got to step up to the plate because when I don't do it, it doesn't work out properly, okay? Even if this is in regard to a new career, I feel like you will still show up and be qualified for something you didn't even know that you can qualify for. So this is even work-related or health-related or even financially, okay, something is coming your way. And again, I feel like it's something you were already waiting for, but you just didn't know exactly when it was going to come. So if you do not have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in your birth chart, then this could mean that an Aries or fire sign in particular will be chasing you. They want you. They like what they see. They are seeking you and they want to get to know you. Um, they want to find out what makes you tick. Like they, they just love your energy and they love your vibe. They love the fact that you are stable minded and that is attracting them more and more to you. And even though they are a bit confused and may feel like they don't really know if you really want them or not, right? They can't seem to shake you. Like they can't seem to, to get you out of their head. So for some of you, expect some of your exes to be trying to come back. For some of you, um, if this is not necessarily a fire sign, then this may be in another zodiac sign. Um, I want to say either a water or air sign, basically, with fire energy in their birth chart, okay? Um, because this person is really, really passionate. And I see a lot of, like, fiery energy here. But I also see a lot of balanced energy. So it, it really does show me that there's definitely um, a, 
some type of sense for some type of reunion of some sort okay but i feel like a lot of you are like uh i'm not interested right and a lot of you are not interested because you've been going through some things for the past few years or the past few months and it just feel like a roller coaster it just keep happening and it can just keep happening the more you put out the more it keeps being taken away and it's hurting you and so because of that your faith has been on pause you're like nope I don't want it, I don't care, don't talk to me, don't look at me, I'm good, right? That is you, Capricorn. <laughs> but I feel like, loosen up, Capricorn, don't be so mean. Like, you just never know who can come into your world and brighten up your day. So try not to be so standoffish or um, selfish with your time, okay? Especially those of you who actually do have children, Spend time, the first two weeks of April, spend some time uniting with them, talking with them, getting to know them, you know, supporting their their thing that they love so much, right? Like, whatever it is, I just feel like you are being extra nurturing around this time, okay? And this is also a very spiritual moment for you because a lot of you have been having these epiphanies and a lot of dreams and visions about these children or about something that is new and fresh and something exciting that you want to do and you just have not been able to move forward and now the universe is saying okay are you ready it's time to go for it okay but I feel like you need help you need help Capricorn you know it feels so good to be so independent but if you know in your heart of heart that something is too heavy okay it's not that much independence in the world say listen this is too much do you mind okay I'm a little stressed out. Can you please help me? You know, I really would love you to come over today and spend some time with me. I'm really kind of stressed out. I could really use some company. Or, you know, it's just a little thing sometimes, Capricorn. And again, I think you know these things already. So I feel like I'm just kind of, you know, telling you things you already know. Okay? Try to be or try to eat as organic as possible. Try to use a lot of organic topical creams or ointments, oils, um, drinking and eating anything that's organic, aloe vera, you know, sorry, that was the first thing that came to my mind, aloe vera, okay, natural oils, peppermint, okay, lemon, lemongrass. You know, try to, to fix the aroma around you as well. Because I feel like that would also help with you relaxing, okay? Try not to put too much on yourself, especially for those of you who don't know if you could be pregnant. Please be mindful not to overdo it. Don't overexert yourself. If you're tired, go to bed, okay? That's it. No more sitting up all night. No more losing sleep because of someone else's chaos. Um, no more taking late phone calls or sitting up all night working. I know, again, we admire your work at Thick Capricorn, but guess what? If you don't get rest and the proper rest and you don't take care of yourself, guess what? We won't have any more Capricorn. And we need you, Capricorn. So we need you to kind of get in and, and do what you got to do. So that way you will have your strength. And that way you can be the boss that you are. That you can be the, the parent that you are. But some of you are about to be brand new parents. So yay! Congratulations to a lot of you out there. Especially those of you who have been having such a difficult time conceiving. For those of you who have been waiting and waiting and waiting and just has not happened get ready because it is about to for a lot of you okay and again this message will be different for each and every last one of you which is why you need to check your sun moon and rising or venus in whatever zodiac sign okay so because this is serious and i feel like you guys or you may receive note from your physician that you are dealing with some type of health issues okay and that is what's going to force you to say, okay, let me not put too much stress on myself. Let me ask for help. Let me not do too much today. Let me take a break. Let me go take a nap. Let me go rest up. You know, let me drink some more water. Let me try to drink more water. 
um, and eat less carbs or I just feel like a lot of you are taking your health a lot more serious these days okay so I'm going to do um, your overall energy Capricorn all right this is for Capricorn Sun Moon and Rising or um, or Venus in Capricorn thank you thank you thank you for showing me Capricorn overall energy your cards are flying out Capricorn that's crazy thank you for showing me Capricorn Sun Moon and Rising or overall energy in Capricorn or Venus in Capricorn calling all spirits and gods or goddess and goddess calling all of our archangels and all of our guardian angels thank you thank you thank you for showing me Capricorn Sun Moon and Rising or Venus and Capricorn. What is it that Capricorn needs to... Oh, all right. Ooh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Mm. So, yeah. So, this definitely someone that is... For those of you that are getting this new relationship or this new spouse, um, this is someone that is very thoughtful, very... Um, considerate of your feelings someone who is very very and they, they challenge you they challenge you a lot this person dressed really well and they smell really good and a lot of you are going to be confused about you know <laughs> a lot of you are going to be confused about whether you want to deal with this person or not But this person is also very well educated. This is someone who, who adds value to your life. So they're not here to, to take from you, Capricorn. They're here to add value. So if you were having any doubt in the love zone, <laughs> yeah, it's possible. This, for some of you, this is even an ex. This is someone who loves to think and who loves long conversations and who practically love to debate. Um, but they debate out of love. They don't debate to hurt you. Um, just simply because they love to challenge you. Okay? So let, let's keep that there for a second. Let's see what else the universe wants you to know. That's interesting. I think you're the first zodiac sign that actually got that particular card. That's good. Really, really good, Capricorn. Let's see what else is going on with Capricorn. Sun, moon, and rising, or Venus and Capricorn. Overall, life and love energy for the month of April 2019. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yin gang, yes. Woo! Yes, guys. In between two worlds, I'm telling you, I felt the confusion. Some of you are literally, it's like, wow, this is amazing. But this is amazing, too. Okay, you're like, oh, this is amazing. That is amazing too. Oh my God, what am I going to do? I have to make a decision. Indecisiveness is not going to be here anymore. Again, with the root chakra being here, this is clarity. Anytime you focus on your root chakra, you can guarantee that the rest of you will be just fine. Because your root chakra is kind of like the root to a tree. If that root is weak, and it's not being nurtured and taken care of. And there's no water being sprinkled over it, right? That tree will not be able to grow and stand tall and be strong. And for you, Capricorn, it is the same way. When you are not taking time to nurture who you are, okay, and you're stressing about every little thing, and on top of possibility of pregnancy, okay, this is just too much. You need to relax and allow someone else for once to come in and take care of you instead of you always being the one to take care of them, okay? This is definitely some some decisions that need to be made you need to make a decision and you need to make it like now so the first week of april it will be like oh i don't know i'm not sure i'm confused i'm i'm still in love or um I don't really know if I want that job or I'm not really sure if I want to keep this baby, right? Like a lot of you are having these weird thoughts of back and forth. There's a lot of like, um, what's my term I like to use? A lot of tug of war things going on, right? However, the thinking man reminds us that clarity is on the way. Confusion is gone. Instability is gone. Lack of concern is gone. Lack of empathy is gone. You will be, or if you are not, you have been too deep into your emotion. And now, thanks to that Libra full moon towards the end of the month, 
clarity returns, you get to breathe, you get to relax, you get to have fun, you get to enjoy your relationship. If this is a new person, they will give you every reason why you should be with them. So this is a little different from what you normally experience Capricorn and you should be kind of happy. You should be really excited and proud of what you have accomplished or you should be really excited to know that things are actually working out in your favor. So even though it may feel like it's not, it actually is, okay? But for those of you that do have children, maybe you don't want any more children, got your tubes tied, whatever the case may be, right? I want you to focus on your inner child, the one who wants to come out and play and have fun. Loosen up this season, Capricorn. Great rewards are on the way if you learn to just laugh a little, okay? Don't be so serious this season. I know you've been hurting. I know you've been going through some things. But overall, your energy was very carefree. Like I said, it was very, I felt very free-spirited. Like I didn't feel, you know, and it's interesting because when I did the, the Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus, energy it was saying the same thing like look it's time to move on you're gonna have to leave some friendships alone you're gonna have to leave this man alone or and and there it is like that same masculine energy pops back up so yeah for you may have to leave someone where they are and focus on you and they may not like it but at the end of the day it is what it is you know like you're not the type of sign to just you know, fuck up your whole life for love. Like, so I don't see you doing that, Capricorn. I see you instead saying, listen, I got to get mine. You know, I've been, I've been waiting on you, waiting on you, literally, like, taking care of you all these years. What about me? I got to get back to my goals and the things that I love. And I have to fight for me and my children and my child and the things that we deserve because I've been too focused on you and... In the midst of you doing all that, you don't even know that that fire sign or that that air sign is like, hey, you know, they're just waiting. They're like waiting for you. So it's, it's really, really interesting. And again, for some of you, this may even be someone that is trying to work their way back into your life. So um, as the month end, I will hopefully be able to give you guys a bit more insight about that. But as of right now, Capricorn, the first two weeks, just take it easy. Because you are about to receive some news that you were waiting to hear. Um, again, for some of you, it's going to be unexpected. For some of you, you already knew it was happening. Okay, so I love you, Capricorn. Like, share, and comment below. Okay, please subscribe. Share this message around the world because everyone needs to know what's going on. All right, I love you. Bye.